session this week and um, I want to say a big God bless you to everybody who is part of this family and I want to thank God for you because you are connected in the right place <clears throat> at the right time with the right vessel from the Lord. If this is your very first time joining us, I want you to subscribe. I want you to like. I want you to turn the notification bell so that every time that we are live, you're going to be connected. Just a few hours ago, I was live with us and um, it was awesome what the Lord did. And um, right about now, God is... Completing someone's matter, God is on someone's matter right now. There's this healing campaign, and this is day two of Atmosphere of Miracles. I want you to indicate, tell me where you're connected from. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to... Tell me where you're connected from. Weekends are not complete without healing campaign. God bless you. Barbara, God bless you. Bloom, God bless you. Darrell, I want you to share. Let someone know we are live on healing campaign. Let someone know that we are live on healing campaign. 
thank you father oh barbara is saying my volume is low can you get me five on five can you get me five on five please let somebody it's her phone okay barbara perhaps it's your phone can you can you increase your volume barbara Can you increase your volume? Can you increase your volume? Another person is saying my volume is low. Can you get me five on five? Please let me know you're hearing me five on five. Let me know you're getting me five on five. Can you hear me five on five? Your volume is low. Is my volume high now? Is the volume okay? Is the volume okay? Welcome to Healing Campaign with your favorite woman of God. This is Healing Campaign with Prophetess Jerusha and I'm bringing you God's prophetic word of healing, deliverance, and miracles. Can you hear me please? Let me get a feedback. Let somebody give me a feedback. Let somebody give me a feedback. Okay, Clarice is here. She says my volume is okay. Somebody saying a little better, but I'm shouting. Please, maybe you increase it on your device. Is my volume okay? Is my volume okay? Welcome to Healing Campaign with your favorite woman of God, Prophet of Jerusha, bringing you God's word of healing and deliverance and breakthrough and miracles and prophecies and what have you. It's a full buffet altar here where God is meeting the needs of his Thank you, Lord. Can you hear me now? Please let me get the feedback from you. If you can hear me five on five. And as you're doing that, very quickly tell somebody that weekends are not complete without healing campaign. Very quickly tell somebody that the weekends are not complete without healing campaign. Oh, Darrell says very high. Very. No, so, so maybe I need to moderate it now. Very high. Mira Meme Songo, bless you. Welcome to Healing Campaign. <laughs> Mira Meme Song, where have you been? The last time I saw you was the last time you had a testimony, and after that, I didn't see you again. Welcome, Mira Meme Song. Who else is there? Please let me know where you're watching from, let me know where you're connected from. Praise Master Jesus. If you have the sick around you, let them be connected right now. Tell your family members that we are alive. Tell your friends that we are alive. And God is still saying something. Adeline Chair, God bless you. You're welcome. Sepul, Beatrice, you. Beatrice, you. You're welcome. Zushalim, you're welcome. Please tell somebody that we are live. This is healing campaign, healing campaign. With your choicest woman of God. Tell somebody that we are live. Tell somebody that we are live. Thank you, Lord. Give him praise. Father, we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve, awesome in all his ways. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, faithful God. Welcome, Nalova Batia. Welcome, Kumba Daniel. Welcome, graceful overcomer. Please tell somebody that we are live. Weekends are not complete without healing campaign. We started atmosphere of miracles some hours ago. And God is still saying something. Mm. We are a few days to the end of the month. Give Jesus praise. Give him praise. If not for anything, then for, for you know, for the gift of life. There is always something. I, I always tell people that there is always something that God has done. Welcome, 
joy. There is always something that God has done. You can never really get to that place where you feel like God has not been good to me. God has been good to you through the month of August. God has been good to you. I want you to give Jesus praise right now. I want you to honor the Lord. He has been faithful. He has been faithful. Oh, Lida Daba Shataya Mama. Lekerebo Shataya Ba. Welcome, Akua Yoke. Welcome, Nelson Timo. Been a while. I'm happy to see Nelson Timo again. Give him praise, somebody. Give him praise. Give him glory. Healing campaign is life. And as we are honoring the Lord, I want you to very quickly tell somebody that we are alive. Tell somebody that we are alive now and God is about to minister his life to somebody. Oh, Rabababa Shandaya Nanamaya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, faithful God. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Blessings and glory and honor and praise. Oh, Rabbi, be ascribed unto the Lord. Give him praise. Give him praise. Welcome, Carlson Gogomo. Welcome, Suzanne Tele. I, I want us to hear the Lord tonight. He is mighty in a mean. Mighty to save. Mighty to deliver. Oh, Rabbi, Baba, Baba, Shaka, Dadaya. Oh, Rama, Mama, Mama, Sandalabaya. Lida da boshita de la da do sataya. Le kaliba kode se de le boshita nana. Rambara da da do se kele bariando do shabea. Bari da den kadi da da sanamahan kalia da do shilada. Eke bele da dia na no shalana nai na kandalaya. Eke menea no no si la bahantia. Le kode de bayataha. Oh, mama, 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 shama na mayada basiataha. We give you glory tonight, Jesus. We give you glory tonight, Father. You are mighty in all your ways. Lera da dai barada do shanyana hantaya. Rabba baba rika na 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 masya na 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 ya. Le atele busia daladaya. Le anta na mandira kadia na handlaya. Le ira kando robo do shanyama hendea. Le Mina masha kadaida hunta laina hea. Oh, marababo sarabakaide ente hei. That there is no one like you in all the earth. Rabababa regede bosso dea. The God that makes a way where there seems to be no way. Liana mahanta la baida haya. Leika ni mashuka la barata hanta hai. Rubobo shegede de basataya. We give you glory. We give you glory. Come and somebody give him praise. Come and somebody give God praise. Come and somebody give him praise. Rika mama mama rege de bosa badada yataya leika di mashanda ya. Thank you because you are perfecting that which concerns somebody right now. Makama raba baba boshi katea nanaya. Oh kalabar rege de de bosa ndala maya. To you all praise and glory. To you all praise and glory be. Ramama for you are God and you share your glory with no man. Leana na mashia dala baya hea. Rakadia mama masha dala baya taya. Ei kadei bashi katia nonaya. Rege de de barababaya ni ano shalaya. E kato la dada baya shantele mahanta ya. Rabababa lege de de barida doshalea. Rika na na mashi kadea barakatea nonaya. Laha dara dada barakadea. Ataya, leika da ba suka na mama shanda, leika da ba ba ra ba ba. The God that strengthens the weak, the God that comforts the depressed. Liata do shatea, reka de ba reka do shata. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Glory, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I give you praise. I give you praise. 
for that person watching right now, I give you peace for this precious moment that is destined to turn somebody's life around. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank he has done great things. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I'm excited to be with us again tonight. And I will be praying with us as led by the Lord. And I'm trusting the Lord that what he started doing yesterday is going to complete it in the life of somebody. This is your very first time watching. This is Healing Campaign with Prophetess Verusa. This is our weekly program. And you can do well to tell somebody and to remind somebody that we are live again. And tonight... Are we praying for us specifically as the Lord is going to be leading me? If you have sick people, you connect them right now. For God is about to set somebody free. This is the word for somebody tonight. Are you ready for the prophetic word tonight? I want you to say, I'm ready. Are you ready for God tonight? I just want you to quickly say, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready for God tonight? I want you to say, I'm ready. Just write out, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Are you ready? Say, I'm ready. Say, I'm ready. Just say, I'm ready. If you're ready, say, I'm ready. If you're ready, say, I'm ready. Glory, hallelujah. Are you ready for God tonight? I'm not getting a feedback from somebody. Are you ready for God tonight? Just say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Loom says I'm ready. Darrell says I'm ready. Clarice is saying I'm ready. Who else is ready? Nelson says I'm ready. Ngoncho says I'm ready. Kumba says I'm ready. Darrell says I'm ready. Grace Overcomer says I'm ready. Are you ready for God tonight? Sepu says I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? John says I'm ready. Oh, Rekelebo. Uh, Kelly Sange is saying I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Listen, our our atmosphere of miracles tonight is going to take another dimension. And God told me to read this out. I was led by the Lord to read this out to somebody. The Lord says, present your case. That's the word for tonight. And that is the, the instruction for tonight. It's from Isaiah 41 verse 21. It says, present your case, says the Lord. It says, present your case says the Lord, bring forth your strong reason, says the king of Jacob. I'm reading it again. It says, present your case, says the Lord, bring forth your strong reason, says the king of Jacob. Isn't it interesting? Really very interesting to know that you can be at this verge towards the end of the month and God is saying, present your case. Bring This is like an open check tonight. This is like an open check. God is saying, present your case. Present your case. And then he says, bring forth your strong reason. Now, I came to discover that there are times that God doesn't answer. Or, or, I mean, there are times you pray and you don't see answers because of your method of presentation. Now, this is like, imagine yourself, you're sitting in an office, and then there is a way files are supposed to be presented to you. There is a method, there is, you know, there, there is a way that files are supposed to be, welcome, Yvette Niba. There is a way files are supposed to be presented to you, so that you, you begin to go through them, you know, with ease. 
Now, how, what do I mean? Tonight, God is saying you're going to present your case with the right motive. Just bring forth your strong reason. Many times people want things without a strong reason, without a good reason. Many times I've always said something. I said, if God is not at the center of your desire, if God is not the epicenter of your achievements or whatever you want him to do for you, then you are just looking for something that would increase your pride and then help you compete well with some friend and help you, you know, I, is somebody getting me? Is somebody getting me? So tonight, God is saying to somebody, you, you, you got to present the matter. You're going to pre present the matter. So simply tonight, you're going to be mentioning an area where you need God to intervene in six days. And I'm going to speak a word and you're going to see God's power. You want to speak a word as led by the Lord in any area of your life. You want God to intervene in this last six days as we prepare to wrap up the month. Remember yesterday, I said every month is pregnant. Every month is pregnant with a miracle for you. Every month comes with a delivery for you. I was speaking with an amazing friend today and I said, God says all that belongs to life and godliness has already been released, which means that every month comes to deliver to us. That wheat has already been. But how do we present our case before the Lord? Matters. How do we go about, how do we access these things? What is our strong reason for the things that we desire? Is God at the center? Is kingdom your interest? Is it, is it kingdom centered or is just you? You, it's just about. Now, I, I, somebody you're watching me, you're not feeling fine in your body. And God, which is above things that you prosper and be in good health. Now, I want to ask you a simple question. Why do you want God to heal you? Why do you want the healing? Now, as simple as this question may sound, it can really take somebody by surprise. This may really come across like, oh, embarrassing for somebody. But it's important. Why do you want God to heal you? Why do you want what you want? Why do you want what you want? Sometimes the reason why we don't get it is because our reasons are, 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 are canal. Our reasons are too canal. The reasons for which we want some things are too canal. Why do you want what you want? Why do you want this shift? Why do you want this change? Why do you want to scale above this level? What is the kingdom interest there? What, what, what is the motive? What is the motive? Please, saying you just want to progress in life is not reason enough. Where is the kingdom of God attached in all of this? Where is the interest of the Lord in all of this? Are you believing the Lord for a baby? I mean, I think a few moments ago, or I think since last night, between last night and today, I saw God release a baby for somebody. And by the way, there's somebody you're watching me now. You have issues with your ovary. There's an issue with ovaries. There's an issue with ovaries. And God is telling me that in this season, he's going to give you a breakthrough. He's going to give you a healing in that area. God showed me a release of your child last night. I saw a baby boy being given somebody. I saw a baby boy, very intelligent. I saw your kid at about age four, five. Released to you already, but you haven't seen it physically. You haven't seen it physically. But as soon as Zion traveled, he bringeth forth a man child. Which means the product of every travail is fruitfulness, is the result, is the answered prayer. But then how are you presenting your matter before the Lord? We live in a very competitive world now. Negative competitions here and there. Somebody has this, you want to have it, you want to break your neck, you want to, you want to. Now, actually, it's not like God is not blessing you. The problem is just that God is not blessing you the way he's blessing your neighbor. That's your problem. You, it's just that God is not actually, no, you, you don't measure God's greatness to you based on what he's doing in your life. You're not, you, you, don't, you don't value God's, you know, God's abundance in your life based on what he's doing with you, in you, around you, about what he's called you to do. You, we keep, most of the time you keep measuring, you keep measuring 
the greatness of God based on what he's doing in the life of somebody. And because of that, you're full of bitterness. Because of that, you're full of envy. Because of that, you're full of hatred. Because of that, you're full of a lot of lack of satisfaction. The Bible says godliness and containment is breaking. A lot of people are having nervous breakdowns. A lot of people are having a lot of, a lot of ache, aches on their body. A lot of your nerves are aching. You know that. God has not been good to you, but that, that God has not been good to you the way he is good to your neighbor. So it's not like God is not doing stuff for you. It's just that God is not doing for you like he's doing in your neighbor's life. Or let me say, God is not doing the same thing that he's doing in your neighbor's life. And tonight God is saying, okay, fine. I'm ready to do it, but present your reasons. Present your reason. Bring forth your case is not the problem, but how you bring it. Isaiah 41, 21, which is our core scripture for the prophetic session tonight. It says, present your case, says the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons. I like the plurality in the word reasons there. It doesn't even say reason. It doesn't even say reason. It says reason to bring forth your stronger reason. Why do you want what you want? Why do you want to go to what you want? And I always say here, that a woman called Hannah waited on the Lord and was trusting the Lord for a child and she never had a child. But the day God became the center of her desire, the day she, she you know, the day she stopped telling herself, God, give me children like my co-wife, Penina. The day she stopped saying, oh, just like you blessed Penina, just like, no, 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 no. The day she got delivered of the wrong motives and she got the right reasons. She said, okay, God, I come to that place where I want to give you back a prophet. If you give me a child, I will give you back a prophet. This is what many times we've done to the Lord. It's kind of 419. I call it. There were times we were very dubious in our desires. I, 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 I'm, I'm very convicted in my spirit that I'm talking to somebody. There are times that some things don't happen because we are dubious in our desires. What do I say to him? You say, God, I want this for the kingdom. God bless me financially for the kingdom. God bless me because I want to be a blessing to people. But when the blessing comes, you withhold it from the Lord. Many people have said, oh, like Hannah, oh, I want, because I waited for long, God, I pray the prayer of Hannah, when you give me a child, I'm going to give you back a prophet. And then this child grows and you forget so quickly that God was at the center. And you are so bent on this child maybe becoming something else something else. And the child is saying, oh my, I have a call. I have a call. God is calling me to study. You say, well, I don't want to hear that. My, my, I, 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 got, I got my friends and the kids are into this and that. The kids are into that. You are saying you want to hold the microphone. You must be crazy. Many times, because we are under pressure, we gave the right reason, but when the miracle came, we twisted it. I don't know if somebody is getting me. I don't know if somebody is getting me. Oh, Why do you want to be healed? You're going through something. It's plaguing you. What is your part of the deal? Somebody, you're in the midst of something and you really just want God to do it. Tell God, what is your part of the bargain? You're into, you're at that place where you feel like you're into a bargain with God. What do you plan on doing with your life in the next 30 years? Do you want to serve God? Or you just want to jump from one nightclub to another and drink the latest pot liquor, left and right, and, 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 you know. What do you want to do with your life? When God begins to increase your days, what is the center of this desire? God, give me long life. And God is saying, fine. The problem is not long life. The problem is what you want to do with the long life. What do you want to do with the things that you are so believing the Lord for? Tonight, God is purifying somebody's. Tonight, God is purifying somebody's motive. Tonight, God is, is, is passing your motives through fire. God, heal me, and I made up my mind that anytime I, seek a, I see a sick person, I'm going to heal them. I'm going to pray for that sick person. Come on, that's a good reason. Lord, if I would get up from this situation if i'm gonna come out of this mess then i'm making up my mind that all my days i'm going to be part of the life of people that are going through this kind of situation i'm going to be part of praying for them and and helping them to come out of something because you went through it and you know the pain you developed the passion is that your reason then god is ready to do it 
then God is ready to do it. I was so overwhelmed by passion the other day when I was driving to my house and I saw somebody on, on, on should I call it on flushes or something? I couldn't, I couldn't help. I, I just stopped. I stopped my car. I brought down my glass and I said, sir, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Oh, come on. Come on. The Bible says when Jesus saw he had compassion. Sometimes some of the things that you're going through are developing a compassion for you for the next you know, for you to be able to serve people in that domain. I don't know if somebody is understanding me. That when God blesses you, you will not be able to know what it means for somebody to live without a house. That when God blesses you, you don't mind sharing your space. You don't mind sharing. You don't mind being a blessing in that area of your lack. You don't mind being a blessing in that area where you, you have had problems before and the Lord helps you. I slowed down my car and I, I said, sir, uh, uh, let me pray for you. I, I began to speak words. I, I began to pray for him. I was so touched in my heart. I know what it means to be incapacitated. I've been through stuff. I've been through stuff. I know what it means to be stuck, not just for days. I know what it means to be stuck on a spot for a month and more. You can't do the things you should do. You can't do the things you want to do just because you cannot do them. Just because you cannot do them. I, I was moved. I, I imagine this is a man who has a family, he has wife, he has children that are looking up to him. He has people. Oh, come on. Creation is waiting in standard expectation for him. And he's on a wheelchair. I was so touched in my heart. Until you get to, 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 onto, onto this, what I'm saying here, until this becomes your reason, then you're still very selfish. I'm sorry to say that. Until this becomes your reason, until this becomes your reason, with all these blessings you're trusting God for, what about the orphans? With all these blessings you're trusting the Lord for, what about the widows? With all these blessings, trusting the Lord for. Oh, come on. What about missionaries on the field in the vineyard of the Lord? With all these blessings you're trusting the Lord for. What about making up your mind to, 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 be, to, to be a vessel of kingdom upgrade that you can look at something and you're saying, oh no, this doesn't look as excellent as it should be done unto the Lord. And because I'm not seeing that level of excellence, I'm stepping in with this amount. I'm stepping it in this dimension to make sure that the standard, that the kingdom, that when, when unbelievers see, they will know the kingdom must truly come. That when, when the world sees, they will not need any further evangelism than the beauty of God established in the earth realm through a man, through you, through me. What is your motive? What is your motive? There's a lot of selfishness around the world today. And I'm afraid that you can be on a platform like this and you don't even, you don't, you, you don't, your desires don't go beyond you. I want, to, I want to tell somebody something. Until your desires go beyond you, you are still living a very self-centered life. You are still living a very self-centered life. Oh, I don't know who God is speaking to tonight, but I know that God is talking to somebody. God is ready to do what you want. But he's just asking, present your strong reason. You're a single lady, you're watching me, or you're single, you want to marry, and, and all that is is just that reason you just want to marry. What is the reason for your marriage? Are you believing the Lord for a kingdom spouse with which you can climb mountains and descend valleys for the kingdom? Is that your reason? Or you just want to get married because yesterday your friends got married. Come on, look at everybody in your age group is married. Oh, look at everybody who's having a kid. And is that your reason? Is that your reason? What is your motive? Are you saying, I'm, I'm looking for a kingdom spouse that we as two shall agree as concerning anything? God begins to do. Are you looking for a prayer partner? What is your motive? The reason why some blessings cannot be sustained, the reason why we cannot enjoy some blessings, because we didn't even know why we got them in the first place. The reason why we can get it today and dump it the next day, we even just throw the thing the next day, is because we didn't get the right reason. 
reasons for, for what we were looking for. What is your motive? What is your reason? What is your reason? What is your reason? And then not to talk of somebody that you're, you're just watching now. You're just believing God for a miracle. But when we say surrender your life to Jesus, you don't want to surrender your life to Jesus. You don't want to serve the Lord, but you want the Lord to serve you. I've seen a lot of people who, they, 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 oh, come on. They don't want to serve God, but they just want what God would do for them. What is your reason? What is your reason? The reason why some breakthroughs begin to frustrate you is because you don't even know why you got it in the first place. Kingdom was not the center. God's mission was not the center. It was about your pride. It was about your competition. It was about the fact that everybody got this thing, so I got to get it. You were under so much pressure to get it, and God was not even the center. This was not even about bringing glory to God. I pray for somebody tonight as, as you're listening to this word. God is purifying your motive. God is helping you with the right reason. I want you to take off some time of reflection tonight again. And being asked, why do I want what I want? Why do I want what I want? Why do you want a kingdom spouse? Why do you want what you want? Why do you want to have a lot of money? Why do you really want to be traveling around the world? Why do you want what you want? Why do you want another child? Why do you want God to heal you? What's your reason? What is your reason? I've seen people that after they got healed, that was the beginning of ministry for them. I've seen people that they went through real challenges and when God took them out of it, that was the beginning of aggressive kingdom service. Why do you want what you want? Why do you want what you want? Oh, rabababa shandala baya sakaya dada baya. Oh, rabababa boshaya dada. I sense the glory of God in the house tonight. I sense the glory of God tonight. I want you to say, Lord, purify my motive. I just want you to bring your motive before the Lord. Before I start praying for people here, one after the other, I just want you to, to scan through your motives again. Scan through your desires again. Scan through... I mean, just, just go through your motives. Why do you want what you want? There are people that will want a financial breakthrough. And when God gives them that miracle to pay your tithe, it's like God is quarreling with you. You will argue with everybody to say, no, paying tithe is not correct. You, you, it doesn't matter. You don't need to pay your tithe. You can just you can take your tithe to the orphanage. No, 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 no. God says bring the tithe to the storehouse. He didn't say take it to the orphanage. God didn't say take your tithe to the orphanage. There are people that they believe God for some miracles. When God starts doing it, you start bringing in, they call it human philosophies and the rudiments of this world. You become a critic. You become a, a philosopher over blessings that God has given you. You become so dramatic over something that you can go to bed and on waking up the next day, you no longer have it. You no longer have it. If you doubt, you can ask Job. If you doubt, you can ask Nebuchadnezzar. You become so proud and lofty. You become so arrogant and horrible over things that if God decides that you're not going to have them, you're not going to ever and ever have them. Oh, Ramama Shada Dada Daba Oh, legedebo shakata la babaya shada da da baya. Jesus. Rego do do bo shikana na na masondo lo do do bo shada la babaya shaha. Rego do lo bo shaketele mama maya shikata la babaya shata ya. I want you to, in the things you desire to God to do for you, learn to live a God, a, a, live a life for God, live a God-oriented life. Live a God-centered life. 
Mandelebo Shabala Baba. I want you that even as you desire what you desire, let the things lose their value before they reach you. I don't know how to explain this, but I know you're understanding me. That you're not so attached that you can at any time use it for the kingdom. You can at any time devote it to the Lord. And of course, that's one of the best ways of preserving the blessings of God. It's only the person that gave you the blessing that can bless him. The Bible says, unless the Lord watches over his city, the watchman sends God in vain. Oh, Rabba Baba Shaya. The highest moment in the life of, you see the life of some people, is when